what is going on? I hope you are having a fantastic day, fellow fans of Clash of Clans. Get ready, your day's just gonna get a little bit better because it's your host, Galadon, and we are up to episode number 124 of No Cash Clash. Check this one out right here. Don't, don't do that, okay? Right away, lesson learned, right? Do as I say, not as I do. Try to get as many structures as you can with each lightning spell, but like Clint Eastwood once said, a man's got to know his limitations, okay? And the limitations of the lightning spell, well, there you can see we kind of pushed the envelope against this pretty tough looking Town Hall 10 base and did not quite get the last air defense down. Now, the great thing about this attack is that it is extremely forgiving. Well, you can make all sorts of mistakes. You can still just absolutely crush it. Notice that I sent in the stone slammer right directly after an air sweeper doesn't matter we're still gonna get in there and crush everything in the core it's great to have an attack like this that is so forgiving and you know what is forgiving about using code galadon well you can use capital letters or lowercase letters when you spell my name now you can't spell it wrong okay now you can't spell my name wrong you've got to spell the correct letters but thank you guys, all of you that are using code Galadon, continuing to do so, and I am continuing to buy more gift cards for gold passes and got more golden pekkas to give out. It's it's crazy. Come by a live stream, follow me on social media, Instagram, Twitter, at Galadon Gaming. Get in on those prizes. Okay, so the attack is well underway. As you can see, the baby dragons crush. The Barbarian King, he actually did a pretty good job right here. He got in and got the single target Inferno down as it was distracted by another baby dragon. Now, we only have nine baby dragons left, but let me tell you, they are incredibly strong when they are socially distanced, right? Yes, you can see the top left, a couple of them get too close together and they're not nearly as powerful. In fact, I would say it's less than 50%. It really feels like it really cuts down their attacking prowess uh, when they are close to another baby dragon. They got to have that tantrum to help you out. And as you can see right here, we're working our way down into these final Teslas surrounding the town hall. Is it going to be a 99% one star, but well, okay, you can kind of see we've got five still in pocket, right? I haven't even deployed five of these baby dragons. And again, once they go into that tantrum, once they're by themselves, they can easily take out a Tesla, even when there's multiple Teslas firing on them. So you know what's happening here as far as the town hall. Now, the question is, there's a single target Inferno down at the bottom of the base. Can we get to that? Notice at the bottom of the base, we only have three baby dragons left. Here we got one taking out the town hall, three remaining baby dragons, three remaining defenses with a single target in front of right in the middle. Don't worry about the town hall. It's going to go down, but here we go. So we get all three tantruming at the same time in after the archer tower, the wizard tower, and the elixir collector. Watch out for the single target in front Baby dragon takes down the town hall, moves in to help out. Watch out for the trap. Single target in front on one of the baby dragons. Another baby dragon working on the single target in front And with 10 seconds left, we're going to get that three star right here. Let's go. Baby dragons. One more time, I'm telling you, they are so strong and, and make for some pretty exciting attacks. All right, deep breath as we move on to another day of farming on No Cash Clash. We're all calm, right? We're mellow, we're chill. We've got an archer tower that finished upgrading all the way to level 12. And uh, let's check out the progress base. Uh, as you can see, we're still cruising in crystal. We are going to clear some obstacles as we kind of take a look at what the priorities are right now. You know, we've got two heroes that are up at the same time. So this is a true rarity on this account. They're also tied both at 37. Unfortunately, the builders... Well, okay, wait a minute. We do have a builder free. What am I talking about? We, we do have a builder free. That must have just finished. So let's go ahead and take a look around. Oh, the trifecta is in the daily deals. That's training research builder. Of course, we'll go ahead and uh, reserve the builder potion for maybe... I just... I hate going under a thousand gems. That's... Like, the one thing I'm trying really hard to avoid, I don't know, it just feels like, you know, you never want to have no money in your wallet, right? You never want to have no gems in your account, just in case. You never know what an emergency might arise. Okay, so let's see here. Gold Pass, we do have a Book of Heroes. We obviously will pick up another Book of Heroes at the end of this Gold Pass. And no, I'm not bitter about not getting the Party King on this account. Okay, maybe just a little bit. And we have an abundance of Dark Elixir, as you can see, nearly 200k stored up, so it is time. The Archer Queen on her way to level 40. Say bye-bye for about a week. Okay, hopefully we can, uh, you know, use some Builder Potions. I, I don't really want to use that Book of Heroes yet. Ideally, 
I feel like we could use that Book of Heroes at the end of this month to get the King and the Queen both to level 40 by the end of August. That would be amazing. But okay, here we go. Fast forwarding to another day of raiding. As you can see, we've got a couple more free builders. We've got another research potion in the shop and the builder potion we're going to pass by one more time. So hitting the training potions, as always for farming, got to pick up the free one, right? I mean, come on, it's free. What you going to do? Okay, and no, don't do it, Galadon. No, no, hold off. That's right. We, we really are trying to keep above a thousand. And I do realize, of course, that we're a long ways from having 1285 saved up. So we use the research potion. That's going to shave about a day off the P.E.K.K.A. upgrade. And yes, the P.E.K.K.A.'s, okay, fine. I'll admit, I, I regret a little bit going up to Town Hall 10 with like level one P.E.K.K.A.'s, right? That was kind of a... A pain. Okay, the Archer Towers, however, remember, we have been informed and educated by viewers that they all have two levels to go. And uh, we went ahead and moved those over. Fine, fine. I know I, I know a few of you noticed that, and it would have bothered you if I didn't fix it. So you're welcome. Aligned all the Archer Towers. And on to another day. Here comes another upgrade. And that actually is my first cannon going to Town Hall 11 level, level 13 cannon. Okay, time for another raid and a chance to make up for that earlier miss. Now, this is obvious, right? If you take a look at these air defenses, the two at the bottom right next to the Dark Elixir Storage, they are very obviously close enough together. Okay, maybe not obviously, but for future reference, those are close enough together that one lightning spell will get both. So as we work on other defenses in the area right here, we go smack in the middle and take out both. Now we've got three additional, and what do you know? That's right, all four air defenses, both Inferno Towers. I mean, it's just too strong. I know, I know, I know, I've said it a million times, but you shouldn't be able to do that, right? And, and the excuse is, though, that it's poor base design, right? That is the excuse. Build a better base, and lightning spells will not be OP. But, you know, when you start to spread things out, then it makes it vulnerable to other attacking strats, and uh, I don't know. Either way, here we go again. That's right. Fast forwarding through the baby dragon, barbarian king, stone slammer, to open up the pathway to get to the town hall. And it's another easy three star. How many baby dragons will we be swagging? That's the only question when we do these raids. Because sometimes we've got ten. As you can see right here, as the town hall goes down, just a couple remaining. Can we swag a full ten baby dragons? Okay, maybe not quite ten. But we can swag a lot of baby dragons, okay? You really can, and that's one of the cool things about it, because if you think about it, if you're swagging that many, then you're able to drop another raid that much more quickly, because you don't have to wait to train those additional half dozen baby dragons. Now, of course, there is the catch that these guys are not nearly as potent without the lightning spells, and perhaps that's an experiment that we should try in a future episode that would be, let's attack with baby dragons and no spells. And then we'll see if it's going to be as strong as this right here. 666 gold. Base after base getting absolutely annihilated. And many more swag drags coming in. Doesn't matter if they're Town Hall 9, 10, or kind of, you know, a rushed 11 we can usually take down. Or at least 2-star. You know, a high percentage 2-star on those Town Hall 11s. And uh, we are actually going to have a war attack coming up. I believe it's next episode against a maxed out Town Hall 11, and this is the strategy that we will bring. So here is base after base after base getting crushed again and again and again. You guys probably prefer I don't show you the whole raid, although some of you say that you could listen to my voice reading a manual on how to fix a toilet, and you know, that's still an idea for a future YouTube channel selection, How to Fix a Toilet by Galadon. And uh, I'll read the most boring things in the most exciting way possible. And uh, maybe it'll actually help you get a better grade in bio next semester. Oh, all right. Anyway, so as you can see, another nearly 2 million raid. We cannot beat the 2 million mark. For some reason, that seems to be every episode coming up where we're getting about 1.9 to 2 million from our best raid. A quick look over at the builder base. I promised you that we will be using cannon carts and giants soon. Just want to get those giants up one more level. Also, we, of course, need to work on all the other troops and the battle machine, but, you know, that's we'll do that some other time. Back at home, this is the base. It's actually doing okay on defense. I wouldn't say that it's that strong, but again, you know, we're still only about halfway through Town Hall 10. Picking up another training potion, and we will be off to the races shortly again. But watch out. That's right. Check it out. Do you see it? Do you see the problem with this base right here? That's right. The lab is not occupied, so we're going to pop on in 
and level five P.E.K.K.A.s. Here we come. That was the decision. So many things to upgrade, but let's go ahead and start to feel better about our Siege Barracks and hit that final level five, six million elixir and a full week. But you know, as the research potions show up, we will shave more and more time from that lab to get it maxed out. Let's go ahead and head on over to the status report where we check out the current status of the base and our trophies back up to, uh, we're, we're gonna have to drop trophies again. We are gonna try to push trophies in the Builder Hall soon though. Maybe a couple more levels on the troops. The gems, oh, we spent a lot and wait a minute. Did, what? I know I said I wasn't going to go under a thousand. We'll get back up somehow, some way with a few extra obstacles cleared. There are the heroes, the best raid, anything with baby dragons. I'm telling you right now. Oh my gosh. I love those little bad boys or, or girls. But yeah, so rush without rushing. That is the next goal. What does that mean? I don't know. Ask me in a live stream. Thank you for stopping by. You are the true Galifam. And that's why I love thinking about it. Appreciate every single one of you every single day. So stay inside. Wash your hands. Be kind to the people. Animals blood. If you go outside, wear a mask. Socially distance. And I'll see you back here again tomorrow for more full attacks. Peter, what? Peter, what? Peter, Peter, is this supposed to be funny, Peter? <laughs>